Hello everybody, I'm Sneaky Gamer and welcome back to Path of Exile. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do here. My connection isn't great. Apparently I had quite a bit of trouble logging in. But... I'm going to try to get some done at least. So on the last one, we kind of we made our way into the town and we're, we went through the coast. And now I'm heading out to the end of the coast to go to the, I think it was the Tidal Island. Turned it into a magic item. I was hoping it would I would luck out and it would be a rare. attack's actually working pretty well. And looks like my skill gems are gonna level up pretty quickly too. This is really better here.
calm has removed the eternal stain from this coast. The Empire's citizens decorate our meeting houses with their heads. Our warriors built homes for our families. Our families till the earth, fish the waters, fill the air with song. The card we weigh is yet a seedling here, but it grows, gains in pride and power every day. Calm has kept his promise. The time of the Kari has come. I don't think there's a way to get that in here, is there? I suppose I could use the portal scroll. Less loading time and shit to do it that way. like to do that is because they cost three scrolls of wisdom a piece. So it takes selling a lot of shit to get those to get those back. Well, I'm just gonna sell these things. Hello. Farewell. There we go. I mean, I could have gone back and just used the waypoint, but... There's less loading time if I just use the scroll. Okay, I guess there wasn't anything over here. level am I right now? Four. Sixty-six percent through level four. Okay, now it won't take long to get to level five, and then I can switch over to that, probably. So I'll throw that sword in here. I'd almost stop believing in miracles. This medicine chest. that use of the skill will be more powerful.
like this. Little help I can offer is yours. Farewell. For now, I can just equip that one somewhere. So yes, I did. Yes. Yeah, there's the onslaught. You deal. You have onslaught. Okay. I don't want onslaught guns. I think it might increase damage or attacks. Maybe I don't know. I don't know for sure, honestly. I just know it is something useful. never really actually looked into what it does for sure. Am I... It seems like I move faster. I do. I move a little faster, it looks like. It does seem like I move a little faster with that, with Onslaught. Yeah, I think I got pretty much everything here. I'll make another quick sweep over here, though. I did miss something, but it doesn't seem like I missed anything important, really. So, let's head back out then. And 
I'll take the waypoint back into town instead of going into the next area yet. So, you managed to salvage Shaky Ann's druggery. Nicely done. Nessa will put it to good use. More than that benumbed quack Optin ever did. Yes? Well, ninety per cent through level four now. <laughs> Looks like we're heading into the mud flats. Yes. Death, I live a little bit more. Black storms descend on us from the north. Unnatural tempests of rage and hatred, lashing our backs, tearing at our houses. The rain is shot with shadow. It withers our crops, sickens our livestock. And the wind, the wind carries with it a restless spirit that breeds melancholy and madness. A spirit that creeps through our dreams, weaves tales of misdeed around our resting minds. We try not to listen, we try to remember ourselves. Some of us forget. Brothers fight, brothers die. Calm punishes those that quarrel, that steal, that murder. Yet still the nightmares goad us into malefaction. We, Cardi, are banished from sleep. Are we... Wow. That didn't take long. You're no saint. I can see that. Though, who am I to question what form divine providence comes in? I am the great Alva Valai, reliquarian extraordinaire, seeker of mysteries, explorer of the unknown, lover of all things that glitter. And I need your help. The lost temple of Absaratu. Halls lined with finery, boxes stuffed with glimmering riches and relics, touched by insurmountable power. For eons, lost to history. Until now. I've found a way to blaze a trail to that forgotten temple. A spell 
triggered by the blood of the vow. I've got some in me, you see. This spell will take you into days past. Once there, keep the portal open by slitting a few deserving throats. The longer you stay, the more I learn about the location of the present day temple. Once we find it, we'll have all the time in the world to collect its many treasures. That's why we need to find the temple in the here and now. Be careful what you do while you're there, however. Any move you make ripples through time, changing things in this day and age. Well, what okay. are you waiting for? Go make history. Let's go. So this is the new the new thing. Did I do something wrong? Good to see you survived your first incursion. Listen, these blood spells are fickle things. They must be performed under certain conditions. Days of the week, stars aligned, that sort of thing. I'll scout out a new location to perform the next ritual. Find me and we'll continue our venture. Did I screw up? Shit. Did I just not see a timer or something? I bet mm -hmm. that's probably what it was. Unless that thing killed me in one hit. This thing is stuck in my inventory until I get the others yes. and use them. While we live, we are blessed. I've spent enough time smuggling from coast to coast to know that those shells don't come from these waters. They're Karu, and look about right to fit into that rock wall in the mud flats. I say complete the set, fit them into the sockets. Stand well back. Got a job for you, if you're willing. There's a pool near the mud flats needs investigating. You'll smell it before you see it. It stinks like a carcass in high summer. But that's not the worst of it. Dead birds walking. Animals don't rise up again the same as people do here. So if they aren't raising themselves, it's doing it for them. The answer's in that fetid pool. Clear the place out and kill whatever's raising those rowers. We've got enough living dead to contend with already. Okay.
Farewell. Hello. What the hell? Can I not switch? Hello. Apparently you can't switch while you are God hasn't abandoned us. Speaking to her. Okay, let's get back out there. So that's how the, that's the thing that's new in this league. I didn't recognize her name. Bless you on this fine day, exile. Here's one of the ones I know. And thus, my prayers are answered. None too soon, neither. Don't look so perplexed, exile. It's simple. God has sent you to help me look after the relics, the few remaining islands of faith in this sea of sin. The corrupted, they hunger to see faith gone for good, chewed up and spat out by the nightmare. Not while you and I live and breathe, right, exile? Any moment now, this holy spot's going to be buried in filth. The corrupted will pour in here, bent on eclipsing anything and everything that has been touched by divinity. I hope you're good with the shovel, Exile. Glory to the pure and mercy to the fallen. never really that difficult for those things. That was some damn divine slaughter you delivered there, Crusader. <laughs> yeah, did God proud today. You come visit me in Lion Eyes Watch next time you're there, for I'm more crusading where that came from. hoping to get another green one connected to that. Be well. Oh. 
have but one purpose in life now. Defend the last vestiges of faith in this godforsaken land. Well, can't be completely godforsaken. He sent you and me here, didn't he? Now, I have a few trinkets lying about that might be of use to you. Adornments imbued with what little faith I can muster in this accursed place. That said, the more corruption we smite, the more faithful I'm likely to be feeling. I can make some damn fine baubles when my divine ire is up. <sighs> in the meantime, let me know if any of my current pieces catch your eye. God bless you, exile. See if I can at least get this pathetic pool cleared out in this episode. Right. While I was fighting him, I knew it. I'm gonna start leaving some of these things behind. Some of the larger ones anyways. Things like that, I'm just gonna start leaving behind. There's the place I'm headed to. I want to at least clear this out. Let's 
So yeah, there's a necromancer in here, if I remember correctly, that's raising the things. Superior, I will hold on to. While we live, we are blessed. It's very tedious after a while. Take care. Very tedious. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get back out there and hopefully clear the air. new skill. There's an echo man. Because all three things are connected on that one. Well, there's three and they're all three connected. Which means that I could put a red skill here, a red support gem here, and a green support gem here, and it would gain both supports. I could support the same skill with two support gems when they're all three connected like that. Which can be quite helpful. Oh yeah, I did level up. I think I might just start leaving most of the white items behind, just because they don't sell for that much, and you make too many trips back to town when you pick them all up. to see if I can get this other this other glyph so then in the next episode rather than having to find the other glyph and go through the door thing over there I can just come in here find that door and head through it because it opens the door when you put the glyphs in the thing, you open a passage to the next area. Thing opened up. Because it 
looks like I cleared this place then. Nice. And if that's the place I think it is, I believe there's a waypoint right inside of it. But I can't be really sure about that. I'll check. Yeah, there's a waypoint right there. Cool. Now that you've drained that passage, best I warn you about something. I was running down a wounded rower one night's eve when I glimpsed something in that waterlogged cavern. It looked a bit like a sand spitter, only the size of a bloody ox. I reckon it's nesting down in those bloody depths somewhere. If you're going that way, then do us a favor. Spill the old shield crab's guts before he gets hungry and comes looking for us. Like that. A necromancer. Just the one, was it? Guess the bastard got a bit lonely, decided to make himself some pets. Well, good to see you don't mind getting your hands good and filthy. Here, to mark a dirty job well done. I've traveled inland on the Emperor's Road by a prisoner's gate. Had to skirt around Axiom Prison. That's the holdfast of Brutus the Warden. Bloody treacherous trip it was. Worth it? There's forest in there. Game, berries, fruit. More food than we can scrounge here. But most here wouldn't survive the journey. It would be a damn sight easier if we could pass through the prison. I tell you what. You carve us a path up the coast. Find us a way past or through Brutus. You'll have more than a few lives on it here. Okay. Farewell. Okay, now. Welcome. Do you have anything to find? Farewell. But that's where I'm going to end this one. So that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as always. I'll see you in the next one.